Hello everybody. Today is Sunday, August the 23rd, 2015. My name is Michael of Global Effects Club and this is the Moving Average Weekend Video. Just before going forward, please do pause the recording and read over our risk disclaimer. All right, let's jump right into the markets. Uh, currently, there are no open trades, um, but indeed, there are a few um, different setups that we are uh, viewing, okay? So, let's look at a couple moving averages. Um, I'm going to pull up a uh, four-hour chart, okay? And let's do it on this chart. Um, if you're wondering what some of these uh, charts are, one, we have a parabolic and the uh, uh, moving average just playing out different um, just different strategies and for members you'll be more aware of the different strategies that we will be releasing for September on okay looking at the um, last six months of the year okay um, but let's look at the, first off the euro dollar okay euro dollar has made a lot of headway recently um, on the back of what's going on in China, the dollar has been tumbling really across the board. All right, and a good indication on average, uh, first uh, a key moving average is the uh, 50 period um, exponential moving average. Okay, so I'm gonna put the 50 period. I like to use that one a lot. Okay, um, in conjunction with the uh, 20. Okay, um, this platform that we are using, this is the uh, Think or Swim by TD Ameritrade. So for those, uh, we get a, a couple questions on what platform this is. Indeed, this is Think or Swim. We have 20, the 50, and 200, okay? And let's change this color around. All right. Now, what we can see, um, a nice breakout um, of the euro. Um, breaking out the 200 period and we had a nice crossover of the uh, 20 and 50 are uh, pretty much long ago and then really following through as of late and you can see prices really holding above um, that 200 period after coming back to retest it now top side okay we are we are coming about that hundred um, that hundred period that 100 extension okay so keep a close eye on that as a pullback could be likely all right a pullback before our further gains because the overall trend is still to the top side okay um here also on the daily chart we see that prices are just coming about that 200 period as um ema as well all right now Though we can see a pullback, what's key here is that the 20 crossed above the 50, and that's the first time since July. All right, haven't seen that for quite some time. And um, then you can see if you look at the overall, <coughs> if you look at the overall trend on the daily, you can see really how when the 20 crosses below the 50 or above, how it really follows through for quite some time. Um, just look at from back in. Um, July 2014 um, the recent crossover hasn't been until um, almost a year later alright so a lot of people don't tend to use moving averages um, it's still key and following the trend you can really stay in the trend for quite some time uh, once you do indeed play uh, correctly all right, and you can see the follow through just off of the naked eye. But going back to current price action, we don't rule out a a pullback, but a pullback um, again because of the daily and four hour. But however, due to the 20 crossing above the 50, um, the bias is for longs. Okay. Now looking at the pound. Now looking at its counterpart, the pound dollar. Okay, pound dollar again very similar. Okay, very similar. In that it crossed above all moving averages, 20 still above the 50. Not really until the 20 crosses back below the 50 will we will will we be looking for shorts. But another key indication here is the golden cross. The golden cross is when the 50 crosses above the uh, 200 a period. Okay, so that's very big for the for the pair. Um, and again, it matches what we are seeing with the euro dollar. All right, so look for longs against 155. That's preferred as long as prices stay above 155. And even if it tumbles back, um, just watch the 50 and the 200 crossover. And that's going to be a big indication, okay? 
Um, a pair we were looking at is a dollar cat as well. Dollar cat, indeed, I do like for shorts, actually. All right, and actually that goes very well with what the overall trend that we're saying so far. Looking at the euro and pound, as we're looking for risk to uh, be the uh, favoritism. Okay, very interesting that the dollar cat is actually this high <laughs> because of what's going on with the euro and the pound, and large is large in part because of what's happening with the with oil all right um so correlations do break but this correlation is holding oil and dollar cad versus um looking at the actual risk part now though that's true watch out for so much downside because of reversal in part with the gap that is still open from July 2015 is still open all right um, what we first want to see though is a crossover you can even start from the hourly charts of the 20 to the 50 to the top side and really breaking above uh, that 42 marker and then start looking at the daily again um, you can see here as we were saying before really the trend is your friend right when the 20 crossed below the 50 and the 50 really broke that um, we had the, a death cross with the 50 cross below the 200. We can see the nice follow through, really just taking that short and just holding on to it um, until uh, ladder happens, okay? Um, but again, Dollar Cat, I do like for shorts um, and really gonna be eyeing this pair uh, for a break to the downside. Um, you can see a nice trend line. Uh, if it, if we could break this trend line about 13070, that's that's very big. And another big reason is because if we look at the dollar CAD, um, just looking at it from a price action standpoint, okay, um, it actually is holding that 161.8 percent Fib extension. So looking for a downside is key. Um, it broke also the trend line here, and we have very big um, RSI bearish divergence. So a lot of big indications for the dollar cat. All right, uh, we're gonna um, stop here. All right, I want to thank everybody for tuning into the uh, moving average weekend video. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to email us at info at globaleffectsclub.com. You can Skype us at Global Effects Club. All right, and you can also um, tweet us as well. Um, our Twitter handle is Global Effects Club. All right, cheers, everyone. Have a great week. And uh, members, sign into the back end and keep a close eye on some of these strategies that we'll be releasing for um, the month of September. Cheers, everyone, and talk to you soon.